hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel i love you for watching me today if you're first time welcome if you've been viewing me i want to welcome you as well so today i'm just here to read to you guys the scripture we'll talk about it and we'll be done okay please like the video my videos and please hit the notification button so when i do a new video you know that i've done so okay and please comment i want to hear from you so let's get into it guys scripture reading day so my scripture is going to be coming from the book of second Samuel six and i'm going to start from verse 13 and i will see where it takes us it says and it was so that when they that bear the act of the lord had gone had gone past he sacrificed oxes and feather and david danced before the lord with all his might and david was girded with a linen apron so david and all the house of israel brought up the act of the lord with shouting and with the sound of a trumpet okay guys and i'm gonna go to verse 16 says and as the ark of the lord came into the city of david michael saul's daughter looked through a window and saw king david leaping and dancing before the lord and she despises him in her heart and they brought in the ark of the lord and set it in his palace and in the midst of the tabernacle that david had pitched for it and david offered burnt offering and peace offering before the lord okay guys so i'm gonna go to verse 18 now and as soon as david david had made an end of offering burnt offering and peace offering he blesses the people in the name of the lord of hosts and i'm gonna go to 19 guys and he dealt among all the people even among the one city of israel as well as the women and the men and to everyone a cake of bread and a good piece of flesh and a pharaoh of wine so all the people the father everyone to his house okay guys i'm gonna go to verse um 20 first um second samuel 6 verse 20 says then david returned to bless his household and michael the daughter of saul came out to meet david and said how gracious was the king of israel to dance to dance how gracious was the king of israel today who uncovered himself to a day in the eyes of the handmaid and of his servant as one of the vile follow shamelessly uncover himself and david said unto michael it was before the lord who chose me before thy father and before all his house to appoint me ruler over the people of the lord over israel therefore would i play before the lord 22 says god and i will yet be more vile than thou and will be based in my own sight and of the mere servant which thou hast spoken of them Shall, shall I be held in honor? Therefore, Michal, the daughter of Saul, had no child unto her death. Okay, guys. So David was basically playing skillfully and rejoicing before the Lord, his maker, because of the victory that the Lord has given them by bringing the ark of the Lord back to his house. Okay. So, like the Bible said, everything that had bear praise to the Lord, and David had praise, so he was praising the Lord, rejoicing for all the great things that the Lord has done for the children of Israel, the Lord has done for his family. And Michal, the son, the daughter, I mean, of um, Saul, despises him in her heart. David said, I would dance playfully before my Lord because he's the one that has made me a king, he's the one that has set me before this great people. And he's, a, he's the one that has protected me, protected my family. And he's the one that even kept me from your father's soul from not being able to take my life. So I will play skillfully before him and I will rejoice before him. And I will glorify his name because of all what he has done and what he's doing, what he's about to do. So David expresses himself to her. Okay. And saying that you are not my God, you are not my king. Basically, that's what he was saying. I will rejoice before the Lord, my creator, my maker. Okay, he's the one that has given me so many victories upon victory. He has fought so many battles for me. So if I don't praise him, if I don't worship him, who else would I worship? As the Bible says, if we don't praise the Lord, he will command the very stones to worship him. Okay, so if you and I don't worship God, he has ten of thousands upon thousands of angels to worship him. He has people that he can command to worship him. Okay, so we, you and I have privilege to worship God. You're not privileged to seek him. You're not privileged to come before his throne of grace. He's the all-knowing God, almighty God. Okay? So, uh, Michael was barren. She never had no kid because of what she did. Because of her, her, her um, confronting David and attacking him because he was worshiping his creator and his maker. 
even unto the unto her dead when she died she never had no kids she didn't leave no offspring um upon the earth okay so she died childless without no child and she dies a barren woman because of the way she despises david in her heart and because of the way she attacked david because he was worshiping his creator and his maker okay guys so you should never despise people because of the way they worship the lord we all worship god in different ways okay so do not be angry if somebody is worshiping god and you are not okay you worship God in your own way, but not despise others and not stop others from seeking God and from worshiping God. Because there's always consequences and punishment for that. Okay? We was created to worship and we was placed upon the earth to seek him in spirit and in truth. Okay? Because of what Micah did, because she despises David in her heart, because she addresses David and attacked him because of his price of his maker, she was barren, she had no kids. Okay? So do not despise others because of the way they're worshiping their creator or their maker. If you don't want to worship God, we all have free will. Okay, you can choose not to. If others choose to worship their maker, do not despise them and do not put them down because of the way they're worshiping. The Bible says we should all worship God in spirit and truth. Everything I have pressed, you praise the Lord. So we are privileged to seek the Lord. We are privileged to worship Him. We are privileged to come boldly in front of the throne of grace. It's an honor. He's the creator of the universe. Okay, He can command anything to worship Him animals, stones, the wind can worship Him, worship God when they're blowing. Okay. The sea are worshiping God when they're when they are going up and down the ocean. Okay? The heavens and the heavens declare his glory. Okay? So he's awesome and wonderful. So count yourself blessed and privileged to always seek God and always worship him. Okay. Do not despise all of that worshiping God in spirit and true. Okay. Because you do not, not want to end up like Michael. Okay. God is awesome. He's wonderful. He deserves to be praised. And David let her know that. He deserves to be praised. He turned he made me a king over Israel. He's the one that has lifted me up. He protected me from my enemies. And he has kept me, brought me such a mighty long way. He owed me nothing. I owe him my mind, body, soul, and spirit. So God deserves to be worshipped day in and day out. He's done more for us than we can ever think. Just by putting us to sleep and waking us up, it's a blessing what he's doing for us. Just by protecting us from the enemy day in and day out. Not, he's, he does not allow the enemy to take our life or hurt us he's keeping us he's watching over us he's guiding us day in day out sometimes people go out they don't even come back in some people go and get into accidents some people go and get shot and they don't come back and see their families so god is keeping eye over us he's watching over us he's taking us in daily and day out and bringing us back in because he loves us and he cares for us okay so we owe him more and more worship okay we can never be able to repay God for everything that he has done for us. What he's doing, what he's about to do for us. So we should always stay in the attitude of worship and praise him and lift him up higher. Because he alone deserves our praise. Okay, guys? So this is just a short scripture to talk to you guys about. Worshiping God and not despising others that are worshiping him in spirit and truth. Okay? We all have free will. If somebody chooses to worship God, leave them alone. Encourage them and join them in worshiping and you'll be blessed as well. Okay? It's a blessing in worshiping the Lord. There's a reward in worshiping the Lord. He's awesome. He's wonderful. And he deserves it. Even if God did not do anything for us, he has done more than enough just by keeping us alive, just by protecting us, just by providing for us, okay? Just by allowing us to go to sleep and wake up and see another day. He's done more than enough. So we owe him our praise, our worship. We can never be able to repay him for what he's done, what he's doing, what he's about to do. So stay, like I always say, stay in the attitude of worship, God. You will never lack. And I want to encourage you guys, if you don't know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, I want to encourage you to accept Jesus into your heart today because life is short. Tomorrow is not promised to nobody, okay? So many people are dying every day. People go and they don't come back, okay? So surrender your life to Jesus. And so when you die today, God forbid, you know where you're headed. You know you're going to be your creator, your king, your lord of the universe when you die. You know your name is Vincent Lynn, Book of Life. So I want to encourage you to say this shut prayer after me. Lord Jesus, I ask you to come into my heart today. Make me your own. Forgive me for every sin that I've sinned against you. Wash me clean. Write my name to the Lamb Book of Life. I say bye-bye to the world. I surrender my mind, body, soul, spirit over to you. Take control over me. Lead me. Direct me. Guide me. Okay? I surrender everything to you. And I make you my Lord and Savior now and forever. In Jesus' name. As simple as that, God, you're saved. Angels are rejoicing in heaven. When you die, God forbid, today, you're on your way to heaven, not to hell. You are born of God. You're the child of God. And the best is yet to come for you and I. It's a great night. Thank you for being with me.
I love you for watching again. See you in my next video. Bye. Take care. Be safe. <laughs>